Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at this book. It's called Chemistry for Today, General Organic and Biochemistry by Seeger and Slabal. This is a textbook, so it has tons of information uh, because of that. So you're going to get detailed information on chemistry. Here are the authors. And here are the topics that you see in this book. So there are some of the topics that are covered. And you can use this to learn chemistry on your own. This is meant to be a book for people who are just getting started with chemistry. The metric system. different examples here using mathematics. Basic math, just multiplication. Same thing here, some basic math. Forces between particles. Huh. Yeah, all kinds of stuff here. Naming binary ionic compounds. Name the following binary ionic compounds. So you have uh, exercises at the end of each section, um, and then there are, in the back of the book, we can find answers to the problems. Okay, and it looks like you have um, a lot of answers, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, wow. So in Chapter 6, there's 14. Let's see how many exercises there are in Chapter 6, um, just to see how many answers it does include. So Chapter 6 is going to be here. And so you see Chapter 6 has uh, a lot of exercises. It goes all the way to 30. It keeps going and going. So it has... Uh, some of the answers, but it doesn't have um, all of them. Same thing with seven. Let's see how far it goes in terms of problems. So in the back of the book, uh, it seems that, well, you don't get all of them, but you get some. Um, you get some of the answers. Yeah, some of the answers in the back of the book. And for some sections, you get more answers, it seems. It's not certainly, uh, here's chapter six. Here's more answers. Wow. Uh, quite a bit, quite a bit of knowledge. So if you're trying to learn chemistry, I think having a textbook is um, a good way to do it. And this is an example of one of them. I hope it's been helpful. Good luck.